How's it going everybody? CJ here. Back into the video. Today we got mail day. We got a whole lot of mail for mail day today. We got a lot of cards coming in. This is there's more coming in, so we'll have more for next mail day. But we got a good amount stockpiled up for this one. So we're just gonna start ripping some envelopes. Hopefully there's not anything that says my name in it. If there's ever a black box across the screen, it's because something said my name, like something just did. So hopefully, hopefully that wasn't on camera. I'm going to be, oh, that says my name right there. All right, I'm going to be, <laughs> it says my name on both sides of this. There's going to be a black box whenever it says my name. Then it'll go away once it's gone. But first off, we got Winter Orb. This is going in that Jorn deck that I'm going to build because you can untap your stuff with Jorn but your opponents can't untap theirs. So, uh, if you guys enjoy the mail day videos, remember, comment down below what you're buying. Let me know. And, yeah. But subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check us out on Patreon if you want to support the channel. We also got a Kickstarter going on still. Get these playmats in the Kickstarter. Come on, do it. And let's continue. Stasis, also for that Jorn deck. Gotta get that Staxy stuff, that good, good Stax. Jorn is going to be a sweet stacks commander with a lot of upside. We got Bantu the Glorified. So we got this because I'm going to build a God Tribal deck with uh, Golos as the commander. And that way I can play Golos and go and get the World Tree, which lets you pay like Progendus mana to go and fetch all the gods out of your deck. So that's something else I'm doing. So there's probably going to be a lot of gods in this pile. I had to buy all the ones I didn't have. And I'm going to need to buy some new ones too. Oh, it says my name. Oh, it's another god. Oh, we got Ronus. That same deck. I think it's going to be a cool deck. Seems good. Golos is a good outlet if I have a ton of mana. A lot of the gods have mana sinks, which is nice. So it's just going to be ramping gods, and that's about it. Alright, I'm hoping that I can get this out without my name being seen. We got Kefnet the Mindful, another god. Okay, we're in a streak of gods right now. Alright. I'm just trying to open these as carefully as possible so I don't need to do those black boxes. We got Hellkite Courser, and this is a thicker envelope, so let's see what else is in here. I also picked up a good amount of Commander Legends singles that I needed for cubes or deck, for my cube or for decks, because I think they're at a pretty close to a low right now, so I figured it was a good time. We got Hellkite Courser, some Keeper of the Accords, and a Sphinx of the Second Sun. So let's see. I've got a list of what I got all these stuff for. So this Hellkite Courser is going in Obeka. We got these Keeper of the Accords for the Cube, for Marchesa, um, Elish Norn, and Feather, and it's thanks to the Second Sun is going in uh, either Cube, Unesh, or Sisse, or Riku, or Calamax. Or Jorn, honestly. It's just a good card. I got... I, there should be more of those coming in, I think. Alright, here we got... Scorpion God for gods. Next up is... Oh, come on. I see where my name is. Hopefully you can't see that. Cryptic Command! Ooh. All right, we got Cryptic Command. This is going in that Jorn deck because it seems like a good card for it. It's all going to be about like playing some uh, playing some sorcery speed stuff beforehand, tacking, untapping, keeping your mana open for instant speed stuff. I think it's just Cryptic in there. So yeah, we got Cryptic. This time... We've got, oh, paper. 
Huh. Oketra the True. Another God. Oh, come on. We got Thassa Deep Dwelling. Because apparently I didn't have one of these. For the God deck. That card's just a good card. Like, that is a very powerful card in Commander. Oh, we got Nylia Kenide, another good Commander card. Uh, this feels like there might be more than one in here, though. Uh, God Eternal Kefnet and God Eternal Oketra as well. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely some more gods in there. A lot of gods. I'm going to have a lot to do with these cards after this. Fi making cuts and putting them in decks. we got a Hole Breacher. So I've got a few Hole Breachers now. This one's probably going inside of... Um, I don't know. One of the decks. Just figured it needed another Hole Breacher. Probably Zyrus if I didn't put one in there already. Got Eternal Bond too. I don't think this is going to... Uh, this could be okay inside the deck. It could be okay. Oh, that's my name. <laughs> All right, we got Hellkite Courser. I believe there's two in here. Yeah, I think it's two Hellkite Coursers in there. So those are going in the other decks. Uh, oh. We already did the Obeka one. So those Hellkite Coursers are for Vevictus and Feather. And I think there's one more. Uh, actually, I, I don't know if it's going in Feather or not. Oh, okay. This was an interesting one. So I picked this up because this, for some reason, this Foil Great Henge was the cheapest Great Henge on TCG Player. Like, it was cheaper than all the non-foil ones that were available. So I was just like, okay, I'll bite that off. So that way I have the foil gray henge. Like, this is a pretty expensive card. I think that was a good investment right there. I think I spent 40 on it. So I don't know what it's at now, but it's probably more than 40. There we go. We got Opposition Agent. This is going in the cube. That's a cube card right there. Oh, this one's a difficult one to open. Thank you for your purchase, CJ Hart. Gold Hat. Thank you, Gold Hat. Perforos, Bronze Blooded. Thank you for the Perforos. We got... This has got to be something good, right? It's in a orange thing. It's got to be a good one. Bang. Wait. Why is this not English? I totally bought this in English. <gasps> oh, I've got to take a look at the receipt. <sighs> Oh my god, I'm a big ding-dong. Uh, apparently I bought a Spanish scrying sheets. That's moderately played. I didn't think... I don't remember buying that. I am going to have to take a look at the posting. Because that is no bueno. Ay caramba. Ay caramba. Ah. That's going in Jorn. I'll probably just deal with it because it's more... Oh, more expensive now. Okay, so this is wrapped up interestingly. And unfortunately, I don't have any knives next to me. Or do I? Wait, wait, nope, I don't. Where's my knife? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, I almost got this. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. Don't worry. Oh my god, tape, get off my finger. All 
All right. We've got Scarab God. Let's go. Okay. The seller of that had issue, like thought that there might have been an issue with it. So I gotta let them know that came in, okay? Because they thought that they accidentally sent it the wrong way. All right, what do we got here? There's some more non-god cards in this. I know that for a fact. <laughs> but this is another god. We got Clothis. With a lot of tape. Don't tape it to the inside of the envelope. That's so annoying. And they tape it to the inside of the envelope and they don't do the pull tab. That's even more annoying. All right. I know that there's at least one really sweet card somewhere in here. We got, ooh, Sakashima of a thousand faces. So, Sakashima, we got four. Uh, the cube. That's for the cube. I should have remembered that. That's going to be fun in the cube. And, oh, there are the other Sphinx of the Second Sons. Thank you, Frost Giant Games. Sphinx of the Second Sons. I already said what those are for. Um, Unesh, Sise, Calamax, Cube. Some variation of those. Oh, that totally says my name on it. Okay. You got Vidalkin Orrery. Yeah, this bad boy is going inside Jorn. Seems like a fun card. Also, if you're buying cards, it may cost a couple dollars extra, but it's always worth it to buy the original printing. Because those tend to stay the most expensive. We got the Locust God. Um, I think it's just the Locust God in here and he's just falling out of the sleeve. There we go. Next up, let's see. We've got... Cold Steel Heart for Jorn because it's a snow permanent. That's a card that might end up going up in price because it wasn't reprinted. I think it's on the list, but that doesn't count as a reprint. Same thing with... Oh, what's the other card that I was thinking of? Oh, um... I think now's probably a good time to buy a lot of the three visits. This is really annoyingly packaged. Uh, Jessica, thrice reborn. Oh my god. Okay, this is from TCG Deluxe. Don't recommend this. Don't recommend buying it from them because they packing taped the card into the sleeve. Like, this is not easy to get out. I don't know what they were thinking here. I just don't want to damage the card. Look, why would you put packing tape on a sleeve? Holy moly. All right, we almost got her out. Let's see if she's damaged or not. It's also not in a top loader. So this is just like horrendously shipped. I don't know what they were thinking. What on earth? If anyone ships this way, dear God. TCG Deluxe. All right, well, the card looks good, so that's good. Well, Jessica's going inside to have the Eternal. It seems good to make a ton of extra damage. To make a ton of extra mana. So I'm pulling it off screen just to try to prevent my name from being flashed. And I just did. We got Tangle Wire. That's going in that Jorn deck as well. He's going to untap everything with Jorn. Um, 
Rhyme Feather Owl. This is going in Jorn. This is a really cool card, I think, for Jorn. Because you can put an ice counter on a permanent, and then that makes it a snow permanent. So you can just untap anything with Jorn. It seems very powerful. All right. This is the coolest card I think that I got here. So it's a signed a prophecy foil Ristic study. I saw it and I had to have it. This thing is gorgeous. It's going to my CEDH deck to replace the non foil one I have in there. This card is so sweet. Very good condition. The foiling looks so good. The shooting star down there. So this, like a few other cards that I've been looking at recently, just OG foils, like original foils that have a lot of commander play, I think are going to be going way up in price. So there's this, there's like uh, original food chain foil, stuff like that, I think are going to be very, very pricey. Like this card, I think is still underpriced as it is. It's an expensive card right now. I think it's going to go up. And I wanted to make sure, I'm trying to foil out my commander deck, so I wanted to make sure I had a copy before it went up even higher. Oh, I just flashed everything again. Oh, this, these are also annoying to open. There's so much just mail on my floor. It's crazy. Bang. Got Dream Tides. This is another one for Jorn. Creatures don't untap during the controls untap phase. Non-green creatures, controllers may pay an additional two during his or her upkeep to untap that creature. So if it weren't for Jorn untapping himself, this card would be brutal with Jorn. Because <laughs> he is a green creature. Or actually, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. His front side is just mono green. We got Heliod, Suncrowned, another god, and last but not least, we've got uh, it might be a couple cards in here, um, eh, maybe just the one, Rising Waters Foil. Pick this up because the foil wasn't that much price. Like, it was low supply and it was pretty close to the non foil price. So I was like, eh, yeah, why not? It's a pretty cool old old foil. Lands on untapped during the controls. Untap steps at the beginning of each play. Untap steps that player untaps a land he or she controls. So it's kind of like Winter Orb. Going in Jorn. We got Jorn stacks. <laughs> People are going to hate it and I'm going to love it. So, this is what we got. If you guys enjoyed this mail day, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see some more mail day stuff, let me know down below. It's annoying to kind of just not be able to open all my mail at once, but it makes for, I think, cool content. Kind of a little financial stuff along with just like what I'm doing, what I'm building. And yeah, remember, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support the channel, you can check us out on Patreon. If you want to buy any of the cards that I bought, I got all these from TCG Player. If you want to do the same thing, you can buy them through the TCG Player affiliate link down below. If you do that, it helps support the channel. You can also support the channel via Patreon. And you get to join us in games and stuff like that. Join us in Discord. It's a good time. It's a good time. So do that. Stupid. I can't read, apparently. I can't read. Now I have to read Spanish. Um, but yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.